Okay, let's go. Hey, look, I'm a dog and I'm bigger than you. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> I'm examining the buds to find out when they'll bloom. Can you find out that way? Yes, I know now. Really? Hmm, I can tell you exactly. Wow! When will it be? The flowers will appear a week from today, and they'll be in full bloom three days later. Oh, good! That means all the eucalyptus trees will be beautiful ten days from now. Oh, wow! We can hold the flower festival ten days from now. Let's go and tell everybody about this so they can arrange the festival. Yeah, there must be a lot of planning to be done. Wait. Huh? Have any of you seen a cloud shaped like a donut over Mount Bread Knife in the last few days? A donut-shaped cloud? Gee, I've never seen anything like that. All right, never mind. Remember, all the eucalyptus trees will be in full bloom ten days from now. Yeah, we know. Let's go! When the wind's like this, we should see a donut-shaped cloud soon. Hey, Papa, have you ever heard of a donut-shaped cloud over Mount Red Knight? Is this one of those riddles somebody tells you at school? Oh, no, Papa. It was Weather that told us about it. How about you, Mummy? Have you ever heard of it? It sounds familiar. I remember hearing about it many years ago. Really? Let's see. I think it was my grandmother who told me about it. Yes, I remember now. She always used to say that when a donut-shaped cloud appeared over Mount Bread Knife, the eucalyptus tree flowers would be especially beautiful. Well, you've never told us about that before. I hope it'll be like that this year. That is just an old superstition. I've never seen a donut-shaped cloud over Mount Bread Knife. <laughs> you mean superstitions are never true? Aw, oh, gee. But you know, old superstitions usually have a bit of truth in them somewhere. Then it might be true. Well, nobody can be really sure, dear. It's hard to say. Papa doesn't believe that old story. But maybe Weather knows something we don't. <laughs> Such a good sleep, Ruben. Laura, take a look at Mount Bread Knife. What? Oh! See? A donut shaped cloud! I'm gonna go tell Mommy! Wait a minute! I saw it first, so I wanna be the first one to tell her! Yep, that's a donut shaped cloud, all right. That was smart of you to see it, Laura. <laughs> Well, you see, I sort of had a hunch, so I got up extra early. Well, I'll get even with you, Laura. Oh, what you're saying is that the eucalyptus blossoms will be extra nice when a donut-shaped cloud appears. Oh, yes, we'll have lots of eucalyptus leaves to eat, and it'll be wonderful for the flower festival. Mm. Mummy, I smell something burning, and it's not my pipe. Oh, I forgot! I was making some eucalyptus toast. Not serious. Oh, oh, the cloud is beginning to change its shape. I'd better take a picture of it for Miss Lewis's paper right away. Bye. It's moving. The donut's getting bigger. Oh, I'm sure we're going to have a beautiful flower festival this year. Mm -hmm. How did you happen to see it, Mr. Koala? 
Oh, just sort of a hunch, Miss Lewis, up early, you know. Very clever of you, and a splendid picture. Yes, Papa's clever, all right, and his daughter takes after him. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think, Miss Lewis? Well, if the old superstition about the donut-shaped cloud is true, we're going to have a wonderful flower festival. Oh, I'm sure the blossoms will be magnificent this year. Then let's make it the biggest and best festival we've ever had. Oh, we should choose a pretty girl to be queen of the festival. The eucalyptus queen. Yes, we'll hold a contest and everybody can vote for the girl they want to be the queen. You vote for your favorite. Woohoo! I'll print this picture in my magazine tomorrow and I'll announce the flower queen contest. See you later. Goodbye, Miss Lewis. Miss Lewis wouldn't be bad as the flower queen, you know. Mm, I'm sure Betty will win. I do. Gorgeous. <laughs> Why not? All right, I'll join the contest. What? You as the flower queen? You'll vote for me, won't you, Rue Bear? Well, uh, um, uh, oh, thank you, Rue Bear. I knew you would. La, 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 la. Queen of the Flower Festival. I can be sure that Rue Bear would vote for me if I entered the contest. I'd love to be flower queen. Betty! Rue Bear, hello. What you doing out here? I was just looking at this. Oh, yes, the contest to choose the flower queen. Oh, her costume looks so beautiful. What do you think? Should I try for it? Well, if you did enter the contest, you'd be sure to win it. Oh, Rue Bear, if you say so, I'll do it. You can be sure of my vote anyway. Rue Bear! Ah. Uh, hello, Laura. Anything the matter? It wasn't more than an hour ago you told me you'd vote for me for queen. Well, you see, that was... I suppose now you're going to tell me you've changed your mind. Oh, but Laura, I didn't... I mean, stop it. it. I refuse to be the cause of an argument between you two. I think Rubert should vote for Laura. Remember, she's your sister. Oh, yes, but Betty. I don't mind. I'll find somebody else to vote for me. Goodbye. Oh, Betty! Come back! Rubert! It's plain to see you'd rather cast your vote for Betty than for me. Well, go ahead if that's the way you want to be. I'll tell Mommy and Papa you broke your promise to me. Oh, all right, all right, Laura. I'll vote for you. Do you mean it this time? I'm going to enter the contest for Flower Queen. I'm sure to win. Yeah, well, I'm entering too. But what, Sammy? You can't win. You're not the type. Why don't you just vote for me? Mm, what do you mean I'm not the type? And I'll be voting for me, not you. All right, do whatever you like. Oh, dear. Women. Well, if you're always doing the contest, come on. Oh, I've got a chance. Look at her. I look better than you do. I'll go. Just wait for me. My mother will I'm afraid this contest for the Flower Queen is tearing the place apart. Hey, Rubear, how come you're standing out here all alone like this? Well, wherever I go in the village, everybody's fighting about who will win the contest. I know, it's awful. Every girl in town is fighting to be the winner. Look at that, they're too busy fighting to notice that the eucalyptus trees are wilting. That's true. They don't look healthy at all. I'll bet they won't produce flowers this year. They're all dried out. Uh -huh. There hasn't been any rain for weeks now. Just look at our river. The water is almost gone. It's no wonder that the eucalyptus trees are wilting. Oh, dear. You see, I knew that donut cloud appears on Mount Breadknife only when the air is very dry and no rain is coming. Then that means no blossoms for the flower festival. Well, don't be too sure. That old superstition might come true yet. Maybe there's another way to get water to our trees. What do you mean, weather? Are you talking about some kind of miracle? No miracle, just common sense. I'm going to see Miss Lewis and get her to change the rules. Find a new way to pick the flower queen. Yes, the rules have been changed. Instead of voting, the flower queen will be the girl with the best flowering eucalyptus tree. Good. My eucalyptus tree always has lots of blossoms. I'm sure to win. What can we do to make sure our eucalyptus trees will have lots of flowers? The most important thing is to give them lots of water every day. You may have noticed the eucalyptus trees are wilting. Yes, that's true. Mm. I'd better go home. My eucalyptus trees need water. I'm 
going to make sure they get plenty of it. Me too. I'm going to hurry. Let's go and help them. Okay. Yeah. Change the rules? But Mommy made me a new dress so I'd look my best for the contest. Now the eucalyptus tree should look their best. If you want to be chosen as flower queen, you'd better start watering them. I'll start watering right now. Oh, you'll help me do it, won't you, Boo Bear? Hurry up. Sure, I might have known. My sister never misses a trick. Come on, you call up this. You've got to help me. I'm sorry I didn't notice you were getting all dried out. It's up to you to make me the flower queen this year. to the flower festival. Thanks to all the watering you did, the eucalyptus blossoms have never been so beautiful. And now His Honor the Mayor will tell us who has been chosen as this year's flower queen. <coughs> the title of flower queen will this year be awarded to all the young ladies who saved our eucalyptus trees. Congratulations. I'm a flower queen. I won, I won. I was chosen too. I'm a flower queen. Oh, now I understand. The old superstition is right too. When a donut shaped cloud appears over Mount Bread Knife, it means the air is dry and we have to water the eucalyptus trees. And that makes the blossoms extra beautiful. The Little Koala will be right back after these messages. <laughs> Nick Jr. wants to take you to a magical new world. It's a world that lies deep in the forest, where you'll find elves, spirits, wizards, and fairies. It's the secret world of the gnomes. Gnomes are little people with funny hats and big hearts who are friends with all of the animals in the forest. Now, every weekday, you can journey to this special place. We're waiting to welcome you. The world of David the Gnome. Every weekday, right after Mapletown, on Nick Jr. Bullies, it's always the same old story. Big guys picking on the little guy. Animals do it, teachers do it, even cartoons. Goodbye, rabbit. But Nickelodeon's not going to take it anymore. We know you're tired of being bullied around. That's why we're bringing in the Looney Tunes. These guys are taking over the first kids' network and showing the bullies who's boss. Roadrunner, Tweety Bird, Bugs Bunny, and all their pals are coming to Nickelodeon. And they've got the bullies quaking in their boots. So tune into Looney Tunes on Nickelodeon every day. And if you're a bully, you better head to the hills. Nick Jr. says, come on. All aboard! Climb aboard and let's all go to Mapletown, a place where porcupines wear tuxedos and bulldogs wear badges. How much farther is it? Well, you know you're getting close when you see a cat who can cook. Pretty yummy, huh? A postmaster bunny or a deer who knows kung fu. Ha! Next stop, Mapletown. Here we are. Yeah! It's a small town, but it sure is pretty. It's Mapletown, the place you want to be every day on Nick Jr. You're watching Nick Jr. And now back to The Little Koala. Come on, fellas, over this way. Follow me. I'm coming. You'll never catch me. I'll come back for you, Nick. I'm going to catch up. Look, come on, Freddy. I'm going to get up. You really scared us. Well, those masks, you've got a private property. Oh, we found them in the grass. Can't you see they belong to us? Well, who are you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Why, we're the famous Star Circus. Star Circus? Ray, I washed those masks of ours and put them out to dry. I'm sorry. We found them and they were fun to play with. We didn't hurt them. Uh, that's all right. We're not using them these days anyway. Can we play with them some more, please? Oh, you can keep them. All right! Oh, <laughs> I'm just glad to see somebody's getting some fun out of them. Are you the ringmaster of the circus? Yes, that's me. And the Star Circus used to be very famous. 
That was back in the days when everybody loved a circus. Oh, it isn't like that now? We used to have over a hundred performers, but now there's only three of us left. It's hard to put on a circus with only three performers. We're not as young as we used to be, but we can still put on a darn good show if we have the chance. Circuses are wonderful. I saw a flying trapeze act on TV. That was really amazing. Oh, yeah, I saw that too. I don't know what trapeze act you saw on TV, but back in the good old days of our circus, we three did a flying trapeze act with five triple somersaults. Oh boy, five triple somersaults! I'd love to see that. Couldn't you put on your circus right here in our village? We could get everybody to come and see it. Oh, oh please, please do it! Mm. Mommy, a circus is coming to town. Really? A circus in our little village? Is that true? We've never had a circus come here before. Well, Root Bear said, I'm home! Oh, what's this? Ha <laughs> ha! They gave me this to keep! The Star Circus is going to put on a show tomorrow! Is it really the Star Circus? Oh, have you heard of it? Well, we know it well, don't we? Papa and I love that circus. We went to the Star Circus ten years ago. Yes. It was in the city when we were on our honeymoon. The world-famous Star Circus. Their big attraction was a trapeze act. They did five triple somersaults. Yes, dear. And it's amazing to think it's coming to our own village. Well, I gotta go. <sighs> we kids have work to do. We promised we'd tell everybody in town about the circus tomorrow. I'd be glad to help, too. I think everybody would enjoy seeing a first-class circus like that. Oh, I'll help, too, Rubear. I saw a circus once years ago in the days when I was traveling a lot. Yeah, weather used to travel all over the place. Weather? What'll the weather be like tomorrow? Tomorrow will be absolutely perfect weather for a circus. Look at this! My papa made this poster. The Star Circus with five triple somersaults on the trapeze. That poster ought to attract a crowd. It'll be packed! <laughs> morning. We came early to see if we could help. Well, we promised we'd put on the show for you today, and we will. But the five triple somersaults. You won't do them? It's been a long time since we did our trapeze act, and we're rusty. But we wouldn't want to fumble it. It's a very dangerous act to do. Won't you try? <sighs> we came to help. The first thing to do is put up the tent. Great. It's all the stuff in the truck there. That'll be fun. Everybody ready? Ringmaster, let's leave out all the dangerous stuff. We're all nervous. It's such a long time since we put on the show. Did you see the size of that audience out there? It's packed. Every time I think about it, I start shaking like a leaf. Well, let's do it. The show must go on. <laughs> Look at that, they're just swinging back and forth up there. I can do that! 
Come on, do something. Oh, that's a boy, Jack. That act isn't even worth taking a picture of. Certainly isn't as exciting as it was when we saw it ten years ago. It's pain stuff. Go away, go further. There's all the couple summers off. Oh. Those guys are so scared they can't do a thing. But well, we're partly to blame. We talked them into it. We can do it. We're all too scared to go on. My muscles have all turned to jelly. You've got to go out there and apologize. This is a failure. The last performance of the famous Star Circus. I've always wanted to be a clown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, love me the fabulous Star Somersault. We have to do it. We have no choice. You can do it. I know you can if you try. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Into it. We'd never have gone on. We thought this was the last performance of the Star Circus, but now we're going to take it back on the road again. Yes, we found out today that we can still do our trapeze act. Then the Star Circus will still be giving shows? Why, sure. And the five triple summer shows, too. Will you come back here? Oh, of course we will. I promise we'll come and see you again next year. 